Hi everyone, hello and welcome to Happy Monday Dollar Tree Haul. I am here, we are back together, and I am always so happy to be here with every single one of you. I hope everybody has had an amazing, amazing couple of days since I saw you last on Happy Saturday Dollar Tree Haul. I have some incredible things I cannot wait to get into. So many amazing things, so let's just hit it. I have to show you this first and foremost because honest to goodness, I was quite stunned when I found this and realized what it was because at first I thought it was a book that I was excited about that it was a Disney Moana book but then I really figured it out and I was wicked wicked excited to see it. This is Disney Moana hairstyles and looks. 17 fantastic ideas create your own very own look straight from Moana's world. And this is a hardcover book right here. This book went for $10.99. I think that this is pretty amazing. And I do have to show you some pages out of this book. So it gives you all kinds of things to follow for directions so that you can do some hairstyles. How cute would this be? for a little girl or whoever I, i'm gonna use this even for myself and share with other people the ideas within the book to show you how to do some of the coolest hairstyles the beachy look to the hairstyles this is fantastic the holidays are coming get a bunch of hair accessories put it with this book and gift it away magnificent and i was super thrilled to find this because I'm always looking for hair ideas and as soon as my hair gets long again I'm gonna go to Moana for my ideas I also found this book right here and this was pretty terrific I loved it it's another hardcover book and this says where should grace the witch live so I thought how cool is this where Halloween is coming it's a great children's book right here this book went for $17 and 95 cents and it is so cute i did read it and it's quite quite adorable so it's a great it's a great book it's a great reading book for halloween and anything really cute stuff it just shows her trying to choose and decide where she is going to put her house so an adorable children's book right there absolutely think it's wonderful and then this book right here. This is a paperback book and I thought that this was so nifty and cool. This is super awesome. The activity sketchbook. Random acts of drawness it says. Drawness. How cool is that? And this book originally went for $9.99 and on the back it says have you ever tried drawing a duck on roller skates eating a slice of pizza or how about drawing with a pencil between your toes well grab that pencil and get ready to let loose because things are about to get random and then inside of the book it gives you all kinds of funny prompts and ideas of things to draw on the pages and pictures to finish out in a silly funny way you know I love creativity, using your imagination, and promoting all of those things. This is a great, thick little book. Some drawing utensils, colored pencils, what have you, to go with this from the Dollar Tree as well. That is a nice, nice book to gift away for $1.25. And just those three finds alone were like magic. Magic, magic to me. But then, but then I found halloween signs brand new halloween signs that just came out that i have never seen in the dollar tree before in years prior and i am in love i am absolutely a hundred percent in love with this one right here it says welcome come in for a spell this piece right here is an added addition onto it so it's a little bit popped out look at how majestic and magical she looks with the sparkles all within her riding the broom that amazing curly hat right there the cat on the back and that moon in the background i love the scalloped edging of the whole entire sign and then it has the drawstring up here to be able to hang it up so that's the first one right there my dear i was 
so beyond excited when I found these. Now we found this one as well. I thought that these were so cool. I did take a bunch of pictures for you guys that I will share on my Instagram. Um, over on Crazy Days of Callan on Instagram to show you the other variety of signs that are out at the Dollar Tree right now. So this one says, Stirring Up Magic, Wicked Witch, Cast a Spell, Toil and Trouble, Salem Brooms, and I live right next to Salem, Massachusetts, um, Mystical Brooms, Black Cats, and this is amazing. I love it. And that little cat down there is an added addition. So it's a little bit popped out like the witch on the broom with the cat in the last sign I showed you. So there was four different ones to choose from there. I do believe I got another one. Yes, I did. I got the ones that were the most unique and new to me. So I picked this one up right here. And I think that this is so, so cool. And so this one says psychic um, sees all palm reading past present future crystal ball love fate destiny and card reading so this is such a cool sign and then that little hand right there is another popped out piece that is all sparkly and beautiful and again these have the little strings to be able to hang them up nicely really 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 cute and we're still going. Yes, we are. I have quite a few more. Um, probably like another three. This one right here. Oh my goodness. I absolutely love it. It says the neighbors have the good candy. With the skeleton hand and finger pointing in that direction. I think that this is so cool. I think it's so unique and different. The hand drops down on the two little strings right there brand new sign. These signs for $1.25, I'm going to pick them up every time. I don't care how many signs I have upstairs in my attic and my decoration stash, stash because when these signs come out, they are a hit to decorate my house and I love them so, so much. I found this one right here. I'm going to have to show it to you like sideways so that you can really see it. So it comes in three parts right here. It says, keep calm and creep it real. Keep calm, creep it real. And then that jack-o'-lantern in the middle. So this is what it looks like. And he is really, really done well. I think that that, that pumpkin right there, that jack-o'-lantern is done exceptionally well with the shading. I think it's really, really such a cool sign. So I picked this up and this, when it comes in three pieces like that, most often than not, I do separate the pieces and I situate them on other um, wreath making things that I do. And I'll just like hot glue the pieces around the wreath. I'd probably use that pumpkin in the center piece, the top, you know, along that way. And I'll just put it in a wreath form with flowers all around it, some creepy spiders intermingled into it. And I separate it off of the string, but it's cute just like that as well. And then I think, yes, this is definitely the last sign. So I picked up this one. It says spots. It says, oh, spots. <laughs> it says stop by for a spell. It says stop by for a spell. That's what it says. It has the cauldron in the middle. I absolutely love, love, love the amazing greens in this. So now I'll show it to you slowly. The greens in this are so like, um, just creepy because it's like boiling looking, you know, neon green in the cauldron. Really, really cool spell, little cauldron sign. And I love it. I love it. And I just love it. So there is that. Now I found these things right here and I was super excited to find them because I think that this book is really, really cool for Halloween gifting as well. And to just keep out to read, it is more geared toward like a younger uh, child, maybe even tween age, but I think it's cool still. I will take 
the price tag down so that you can see how much it went for but this right here is a big old book it's a hardcover it says now entering Adam Adamsville time to face your demons it says and this is like a haunted book it says what if they're real and then inside it says it's full of ghosts they haunt the old coal mine um, take long walks along the uh, lake and watch visitors from storefronts and it's just a creepy book about the Adamsville town I think that that is really cool I'm gonna probably read this to be quite honest with you I don't care if it's a younger read I like reading anything that sparks my interest and this went for $17.99 so I thought that that was really fantastic to grab that for a little Halloween magic I did pick up myself some really really cute t-shirts I'm super excited about the t-shirt quality that I've been finding at the Dollar Tree I'm really stoked about it this is a Gildan brand right here and this is so incredibly soft it almost feels like stretchy a little bit it's a nice 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 thickness to it it's heavy um, this is gonna be perfect for the fall so it's a cute little t-shirt I absolutely love 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 the gray color that gray is such a beautiful color so I picked up this t-shirt right here and I'm gonna wear that and then I found this and we're almost back into like legging season because I wear dresses throughout the entire summer I just wear sun dresses like straight through so I have not had pants on for about three months now other than that I do like to wear leggings and I love humongous big nice cozy like oversized things to wear with my leggings especially in the fall months i found this nice nice big oversized t-shirt right here i love this lighter gray color it's really really pretty again the quality of this shirt is fantastic it's such a buttery soft quality this one right here is a fruit of the loom so we have this and you know the t-shirt it's nice and long and it's going to be big and drapey and just nice with some scrunchy fuzzy socks and my um and my little slide on shoes i love it i love it i'm still in summer but i'm really really excited for my outfits that are to come that are going to be cozy and just all soft and warm and fuzzy on me in just a little bit longer now I did find this and I was really happy about this because you know I love my face masks and I hadn't seen this one offered at the Dollar Tree before so I was wicked excited to try this one out this is the Palmer's face mask it's coconut uh, coconut oil formula with vitamin E it's coconut charcoal detoxifying sheet mask it draws out impurities for clearer skin it's with coconut husk charcoal and it's one single use so there is one mask in there and the Palmer's brand is a really great brand so I was super excited to find this and I cannot wait to apply it and try it I pictured that you know cozy with my little t-shirt on my leggings and my fuzzies my fuzzy socks season is almost upon us so I'm really really and gonna enjoy that I love coconut anything so that is what I grabbed for that but now I do want to show you I have a craft in mind and I got the craft in mind because I saw this hat I was already in the Halloween mood shopping I loved the black hat I've never seen the black brimmed hat at the Dollar Tree I've seen the ones that are a little bit off-white I've seen the ones that are like a cocoa color and also a white color I found a black one and I thought that this black one is beautiful with the little chiffon type of bow I think it's adorable and cute and fantastic 
So there was a whole new section with all a bunch of brimmed hats. So I picked it up, but, and I am going to wear this. A lot of people buy the hats to like, um, use as like wall hangings. They'll put flowers all around it to use it to decorate or something like that on their walls. I'm actually going to decorate it and wear it for like Halloween and the fall months. So I picked up the black one, but now, but now I did grab these amazing, amazing flowers that I am going to take all apart and then I am going to hot glue them on to the hat. So these are the three stems that I picked out right here and I will show them to you individually. So I picked up this right here and this is called Heather from Floral Garden and I picked up the yellow one because I just really liked the way that the yellow popped and the orange and purple flowers. So I picked up one stem of that and I'll take it apart. And then I grabbed this one right here. And I love, love these. I don't ever remember seeing flowers offered with this type of texture to them. They just, they look so unique and different. And I love them. They're so full and vibrant. So I picked up that one to go on my hat and then I grabbed this one right here and that is what these are and then I loved that it was like a lavender and a darker purple in the middle. That was like a really nice, like I liked the ombre type of look to these flowers. So those three flowers, I'm going to intermingle all together, use some hot glue, put them all around the brim all the way back so that it meets the bow dangling in the back. And then if you guys can remember, so, um, probably like maybe like two weeks ago or so, I hauled the packages of three from the Dollar Tree that had the little pumpkins in it and there were three to a package and they were on clips well I had already taken these all out of the packages because I intend on starting to do some fall crafts so I was getting them ready and these little green pumpkins right here I'm gonna put with those flowers all around the rim flowers pumpkins flowers pumpkins all the way around and that is what the hat is going to be decorated like and how I'm going to wear it out and about during the fall months and I absolutely know you know I will take a picture I've been crafting up a storm over here guys I have just been crafting like crazy and I always love to share it with you so once I get all the stuff glued on the hat and I have it on and I will even have it off and take a picture of it to share it with you and show you how it came out and I will put it on Instagram and I will also put it on my community tab so that everybody that does not have Instagram will be able to see it so there's that now I found this beautiful vase right here and I have to say that these flowers hold on one second you're gonna see my eyeballs you know you know I'm always bending I'm bending like crazy over here now these three if you don't want to put them on that hat I found this vase right here and I thought bottle vase whatever you want to call it and you could put that type of an arrangement right in this take the cork out and put it in there and put it as a centerpiece wherever you want it to be in your house these bottles are beautiful and now they had a with this one included i think there was five different types of bottles i took a picture of the four that i left behind and i bought this one so i will share a picture with you over on both of those spaces so that you can see on the community tab and also on Instagram so that you can see the other ones to choose from or you can go to Margot's hauls and all because she hauled all the bottles I just absolutely loved this one I loved the texture to the bottle that green color glass is phenomenal it's so beautiful I love the little corked um, enclosure right there it's a beautiful beautiful bottle the other ones were just as beautiful they were all different colors a couple of them were like different shapes and stuff but this one was my absolute favorite so I was really excited to pick that one up and that's the one I grabbed now 
I did find <laughs> some really, really cute stickies, um, some wall clings, window clings rather. Uh, these are really fantastic and they had my heart super duper happy. So I have to show these to you because you know I love my little wood, my little woodland fairy creatures. There's 12 pieces in here and I am in love with the moose. Uh, definitely the fox. The moose and the fox are beautiful, beautiful animals that I photograph often. And then over here, the deer, uh, also the deer. The moose, the fox, and the deer are staples of photography up in a place called Pittsburgh, New Hampshire, where we go to a place called Moose Alley. And spend time in straight nature like we're in the woodland area there is nothing around us except for forest and this is what you see and this is what I take tons and tons of pictures of I love all the animals so here is the sheet right there was really happy to find the bat then I picked up this wall cling right here and there's 11 pieces in there and I loved every single one of the sayings on this sheet so I'll read them to you a little bit it says oh autumn it's nice to see you again it says hello autumn fall is in the air season of change stay cozy sweater weather and pumpkin spice please autumn splendor happy harvest celebrate autumn and golden days so that is all of the beautiful wall clings that are on there. And with these, I usually craft with them. I usually craft, I make wall hangings. I put those pictures of those wall clings in frames and build a whole like scene around it. I will embellish and decorate the frames with a bunch of fall items to pull it all together. And of course, when that happens, I will share that with you always. Then I found this and I thought that this was so unique and different. I've never really seen anything like it at the Dollar Tree before. It comes with a little, a little, um, oh heavens, what do you call it? You know what, a section, a little suction tab right there. I lost my words for a second. And then this whole scene right here. Oh my goodness. Look at the little... The gnome peeking out of the beautiful pumpkins and the sunflowers with all the trees in the forest behind him. So I thought that that was really, really cool to put on the window. And I thought, how adorable would that be? Like right where the door is and the stained glass window to be able to put that on there. So again, I'm just trying to make sure you see it okay. So I picked that up and it's just like a flimsy plastic, but it would be good for putting it on the windows outside because it's not going to get damaged because it's a plastic, it's a plastic piece. So I picked that up. Now I also picked up some more glue sticks because you know this girl definitely needs them and I usually always pick up this one from the Dollar Tree because at $1.25 it is still a better price for me to pick it up there than at Walmart. There's 20 pieces in here. And then these are the mini glue sticks. Um, and then I just have a mini hot glue gun that I bought at Walmart probably like 10 plus years ago for $2 and some change. It's probably way more now in this, um, this pricing world that we're in now where everything has gone up. Even the same products are priced like two, three dollars more than they used to be. So, but these are really good and I use these up rather quickly. So I had to grab that because I'm almost out. And then I found this, which I'm really, really excited to give this a shot. This is Pro Marks, and this is multi-purpose spray. It's spray glue, and it's great for crafts. Extra strength, acid-free, and dries clear. It's 1.8 ounces. So I'm going to give that a shot. I made some hair clips the other day. Um, and I definitely wanted to seal them off to make the gems stay on for sure. Even with the glue that I used, it, it doesn't seem to be holding very sturdy to the, 
to the little comb piece. So I wanted to spray over it and see if that puts a good seal on it. So I grabbed that to give it a shot. If anybody's used that and has feedback from me, I would love to know what you guys think about that product. I've never seen that glue before, so I was happy to give it a try. Now, I do have more stuff, but you know me, I never want to keep you a billion years. And sometimes I say that and then I get chatting with you and I just forget the time because <laughs> I just like hanging out with you and I just like being with you. So um, I get lost in the moment most of the time, actually. <laughs> so I think I think oh, I'm going to show you this last but not least, and then we will wrap it up. I did find some more of these magnetic bookmarks. Everybody that I have given these to absolutely loves them. I love that they come six to a package because it's really great to separate them with a book each from the Dollar Tree to gift away in a cute little gift bag or something like that with some tissue paper to everybody that I know that loves to read. So these are some brand new ones that I thought were really, really beautifully um, put together with the flowers and the sayings inside. So I thought these were special. It says, so whoever is in, um, no, so whoever is in Christ is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. It says hope. It says rejoice always. And that's just some of the things that these bookmarks say. And they're the magnetic ones the magnetic ones I almost lost my words <laughs> so that is it that is it happy Monday Dollar Tree haul everyone I hope that you had an amazing amazing weekend if I had not um seen you yesterday on happy Sunday for a friend mail opening I got a beautiful gift from my friend Tina a big box of amazing amazing things that I shared with you guys and opened with you all to show you all the things that she had put her heart into sending me my friends my other couple of friends that sent me beautiful cards I just appreciate everybody so much and I am so grateful for every single one of you thank you thank you thank you for being a part of my weeks it just means the world to me so that is it that is it and for anybody that's new hi I'm Callan it's so nice to see you I cannot wait to chat with you down in the comments below if you'd like to stick around I would love it Please stay, share, subscribe, comment down below, hit the bell notification. If you want to know every single time that I upload a new video, I do Dollar Tree hauls here on this channel on Saturdays, Mondays, and Wednesdays. And I absolutely love, love, love this part of my week when I get to connect with every single one of you. And that's it. That's it. Now I'm off to go try to wind down for the night, relax, and just go to sleep with my honey love and have a good night's rest so that we can start tomorrow fresh and new and get this week moving and grooving. We've got so many things going on. It is blowing my mind. There actually might be a couple of videos this week as just like a forewarning where I might have to record on my laptop um, and post the video from my laptop on my own because my husband is going to work for business. Um, and might be away from the house for a few days. So I am going to have to try to navigate this myself for probably happy Wednesday Dollar Tree haul. Uh, so please, please, please be patient with me in case something glitches and it doesn't work out in my favor. I'm praying, praying, praying that it's going to all work out. I can record on the laptop, post it by myself, and it will all go through just correctly <laughs> but I am not the whiz over here on electronics social media all that stuff thank god I have my husband as my my teammate here in this journey so I'm gonna I'm gonna do the best I can so that is it I love you guys and I will see you in a couple of days on happy Wednesday Dollar Tree haul I hope you all have a beautiful amazing wonderful 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 week until I see you next please be happy safe love blessed and always kind to one another and that would make my heart incredibly happy and I will see you guys bye love you